Warrington, Saturday the 13th of February 1960, the date on which Derek Vernon was born. Derek has had an extraordinary life, but first, what about the man himself? Who exactly is Derek Vernon? He's one of the most genuine, loyal, selfless people I've ever had the pleasure to meet. The type of bloke who could walk into a room uh, with a load of people he doesn't know. He'd be the first person to start talking. Respectable, hard-working individual. He, he, he knows what he wants out of life and, and, and he goes for it, you know. Um, he's just a, a fantastic human being. He's got a very, very big heart. In January 1980, Derek would win his first ever boxing fight, but it wasn't until after that that Derek found his true calling in the form of marathon racing. First ever half marathon I ran in was the Norfolk half marathon, and I finished eighth out of over 1,000 runners. And I won our 14 minutes, which I was really pleased about. So that gave me encouragement to continue with this sport. The last race I ever ran was the Wallington half marathon in 1988. I'm really proud of winning this event. Being a Warrington lad, it's a race I always wanted to win. And won it by a margin of four minutes. It's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. I stopped racing immediately after Warrington Half Marathon. Because I was getting no support from my wife. And I'd been offered a job with a major running chain. Which would have involved me running all around Europe for them. Of course. My, my running and athletic career would have excelled from, it, from this and I feel that I, I'd eventually ran for England but I was encouraged to take up a job so there was no future in athletics for me and that, I stopped racing from that day. And just like with any story, there's a part where the hero falls. And after his last ever race in Warrington, that's exactly what happened to Derek. 1996 to 1999 was the worst period of my life. I found out my wife was having an affair. I myself suffered with severe depression. It was a terrible, terrible time. I lost everything. I lost my house, my car. More importantly, I lost my children. My wages from my heavy duty manual job, I was paying most of it in CSA payments. And I was left with debts. So we had literally nothing. I was penniless. When most people fall, they often can't get back up. But when Derek's life fell apart, instead of staying down, he got up and walked down the long, hard road to fixing his life. So I thought, what do we do? I've got, I've got to do something about this. So what I did, I went out and got another job. So we had two full-time jobs. I was working 80 hours a week for three years. He was working, what, six, seven days a week, you know, through his, his day job and his evening job at, at the restaurant. And he lived off 10 pound, five to 10 pound a week. I grafted for my two lads. The only time I had off was on a Sunday morning for two hours and a Thursday night for two hours. The rest was just working from morning till night. I promised my two lads I would get them a house of our own. And three years later I did and I got them keys and I bought the house cash. He worked really hard to, to get to where he is now, only in three hours. And it's just remarkable he's done it. In 2007, I got a job at Warrington Borough Council. I'm still there to his present day. Working with children with severe disabilities. It's a job I really love. Five years ago, I met a lovely lady called Janice. She's an absolutely amazing lady. We just yelled as soon as we met. It's the first proper relationship I've had since my marriage. And she's the most trustworthy, honest, caring person I could ever meet and we just got on really, really well. She means the world to me. Came into the pub and um, he went to the bar, and like I say, he knew, kind of knew everybody in the pub was shaking their hands, and I thought, oh, I'm not sure about him. You know, he seems uh, a bit too full of himself. 
and but we got chatting, we got on really well. We got to know one another through uh, phoning one another because we kept in contact and I thought, no, he's a genuinely really nice, caring guy and that's how. In his life, Derek has been a boxer, a racer. He's broken course records. He's even got his brown belt in jiu-jitsu, worked to help people and made it his life motto to always make sure everyone else is okay. However, there is one more thing that Derek wanted to do with his life. I've always had a secret desire to become an actor. All my life, it's been there that the desire to act. And it was only the last few years, I thought, I've always gone out for things that I've been able to do in life. Go for it, and I did. I joined Merseys Merseyside Academy of Drama, where I'm really excelling. Do I think Derek has what it takes to be to an actor? Definitely. Definitely, because he's such an animated guy. He's very emotional. He can bring out any emotional, the good, the bad and the ugly. For acting, he's, um, he's good at playing, playing around. So I think um, you know, different characters and everything. So yeah, he's got what it takes. People often ask me, would I go back and change anything? There's a quote that goes, life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. And for the past 40 years, I've been creating myself. And what you see before yourself today is a finished article. I have two sons who I love very much, and a girlfriend I adore. It's time to move on to the next chapter of my life. And right now, I wouldn't change a thing.